that we all know and love extreme scooters and we love extreme cars and motorbikes, but real world practicality, they're bloody expensive. So, the whole reason I got into e scooting is uh, I've got a lot of injuries, a lot. And my walk to and from the station was a nightmare. And I don't do trains. I'm sorry, guys, I know there's public transport fans out there. I just can't do it. I get claustrophobic. I'm a big dude, and uh, my spatial awareness is probably a little bit sensitive. So I wanted to look at an alternative. Um, coming from a mountain bike background, I was very much used to my gnarly mountain bikes with big suspension and look super aggressive. And then I started looking at alternative transport, and one of them was a Brompton. Now, to the guys that ride Bromptons out there, they're great, they're good for the environment, they're good for uh, the finances, just because you're not spending a fortune on London transport, but frankly, it just didn't suit me. So, I looked at all the alternative, which was, an, which was a scooter, originally. And then I realized, well, my ankles are so busted up, it's just gonna make the situation worse. So then I looked at an e-scooter, and basically, long story short, we're here today now. Now, you'll hopefully be able to see it, but I'm actually riding a Speedway Ledger, which is what I think, probably my favorite commuter scooter. Why is that? It's small, it's powerful, it's light, it's a decent price, and it makes a wicked sound. Okay. I've been riding this e scooter for a while now, just uh, in and out. Actually, I use this to go down to the shops uh, because it's small enough that I can take into the shops without causing a drama. And uh, every now and again, we have a little race around the big warehouse that we've got. 48 volt battery, it's going to get you. 28 miles an hour depending on your weight and wind direction so it's no slouch it's got a 500 uh, watt battery now on paper it says it's got a, a maximum output of 1300 which I don't know where they got that mass from but that seems a little bit high in realistic terms um, I still think it is the most powerful micro e-scooter around um, now there's a lot of other e-scooters out there that are a little bit more cost effective, but I class them as disposable e-scooters. I don't even fix them. The most popular e-scooter in the world, which uh, I'm not going to name, but you're probably going to know it. Um, I, I, I'll be honest, I can't stand it. Um, it has no passion, it's bland, it's, it does the job, don't get me wrong, but there's nothing to it, there's no substance. So if I had to... If I had to Take out an e-scooter, which when I'm used to Jultron Ultras, Jultron Thunders, uh, you know, it's, it's a very different animal. But I feel like on Speedway Ledger, what can I compare it to? It's like a Golf GTI. You could turn up at the country club and you still hold your own, even parking against an Aston Martin. But you can also go to the shops in it. And that's what the Speedway Ledger is about. It's got mini motors components in it. It's got a mini motors engine in it. It's the same stuff that they put in Jultrons. And that's why I can do this. The acceleration on this is amazing for such a little scooter. And let's remember, I'm a big dude. And the maneuverability is great. It's got a short wheelbase and it's the only scooter I know that of its size, it's got a rear footrest. So um, I'm a big fan of it because it just is comfortable. And if you're on the, if you're accelerating, you can step into it. And this is one of the things I've been saying, step into your acceleration and push away from the braking. And you can see the throttle is, is actually quite sensitive. I've got this dialed up, like I do with most of my e-scooters, which is pretty stupid on a, on a new scooter. Um, what else? I say, it's got the same throttle as my Jultron Thunder. I mean, what does that tell you? For, for less than a thousand, actually, for less than 900 pounds, you've got the same components as a Jultron Thunder. That's pretty good. In addition to that, I've also got that beautiful sound from a Jultron engine, which I love because it creates an emotional experience and a connection. I can't stand those electric hybrid cars because I've been run over by them too many times because I don't hear them coming. 
This thing is great. It's got that lovely word, I do like it. Now, in computer terms, weight-wise, it's not the lightest of the bunch, but in performance terms, it's easily the best. So, if like me, you're carrying a little bit of extra Christmas weight from 2015, this would be a great scooter because it's got the power, it's got the engine, it's got the legs. I mean, this has actually got a really low battery, but it's shifting me around like I'm not on it. 500 watt battery, and I am sipping along. Now, it runs on an eight and a half inch tire, and, and I've had a look at these tires, and they're a little bit wider than the traditional CST tires that you've probably seen. Um, and that gives you the stability at the lower speed. So, if you're looking at a commuter scooter, and sometimes you've got to go really slowly, you can see it's very stable. I am doing five miles an hour. It's also got cruise control. The eye throttle allows you to change the, uh, the amount of torque, the kickstart. It's also got fold down handlebars. So, if you get on a train, uh, well, hell, who wants to get on the train anyway? But if you do have to get on the train, it can fold under your seat. It's tiny, it's a very small e-scooter, but it packs a punch, and that's why I think it's like a Golf GTI. You know, I'm not ashamed to ride this scooter. You know, I, I've got dual trot thunders and all sorts of weird and wonderful e-scooters, but this is just cool, it's funky, it's excited, and it's not bland. You know, it's got a bit of personality about it. It's got a regen brake, rear disc brake, uh, 48 volts battery. It's going to get you real world turns. I mean, it says 50 kilometers, which is 30 miles. Uh, I, I think 20 to 30 is realistic, depending on how you're doing it. I might need to double check those figures, but a 48 volt battery with a 13 amp controller is probably one of the best performing uh, commuter scooters around there. And I think this, the only other comparison to it, I'm actually going to switch feet. Uh, the only other comparison to it is the Speedway 4 Pro. Pretty much the same scooter. Um, uh, yeah, the components are exactly the same. Uh, it does exactly the same task, but if you have a look at this one, it's a little bit funkier, you know, it's got... It's got a sporty detail on it, like the subtleties of a Golf GTI, where the 4 Pro is a smidge bit lighter, and, it, it, and it's a stripped down version. So if, uh, if you've got a little bit of a bad back, maybe go for the Pro version. But if, like me, you want something cool that's got a bit of personality and you've got a bit of grunt, go for the Speedway Ledger. It's got a set of front of low lights, which are actually fixed to the board. It's also got some LEDs on the side, which is good for night riding, but I'd go for a high level lamp on the top, just in case. It's a courtesy to other people. So, I hope that's given you a better understanding of a uh, Speedway Ledger, what I think is one of the best commute scooters around there, just because of that sound. I love that sound. Um, what else can I tell you about it? Eight and a half inch wheels, we've covered that. Got dual trunk components in it. I don't think we can say anything more. For 900 quid, this is a good investment. The parts are easy, the parts are interchangeable. This is what I would use if I had to go into London. And I, I emphasize the word had to. You'd have to force me. Um, there you go, Speedway Ledger. Hopefully it's given you a bit of a better understanding of one of my most favourite uh, commuter e-scooters. I'm going to leave you with it. Speedway Ledger. It's the boss of commuter scooters.